my car was gone. Has my car been stolen? I said I didn't want to come in here and cry. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Hello. I've been to the gym. It has, I just call myself an it. <laughs> I have been to the gym. I just did lower body, standard glutes. Now it is currently 8.23. My doctor's appointment is at 8.30 to get back test results from last week. Got my iron. So yeah, I'm kind of like, excited <laughs> because I I'm really excited to have a solution and she's very solution based which I like I don't like people that don't give me a solution because then you're just in like limbo land and I like having plans in my life as you guys would know I'm always like this is the plan this is what we're doing so anyway I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna drive to the doctors and I'll see you there okay, I'm here and I'm sweaty but I can't walk in, into the doctors <laughs> without a top on I feel like last time I went in in tights they were all like looking at me funny so i mean i definitely need to have a uh, shirt on the heck there was a mask here oh there it is <laughs> i have a mask all right You guys are never gonna guess what happened. Went into the doctors and I just walked out from the doctors and my car is gone. My car is literally gone. So I called my dad and I was like, what the heck? My car is gone, what do I do? And he was like, did you park in a clear way? And I parked in a clear way and they literally took my car. So now I'm like walking to a cafe, I'm freezing, it's raining. I'm waiting for him to come and pick me up. What the heck? Oh my gosh. What a mission. I have my car back. It's like all the way in the city, so it's gonna take me like 28 minutes to get home. I'm not gonna get home until 12 o'clock. Oh, what an adventure this Monday has been. I had so many plans this morning and it all got wiped away very quickly. Hard lessons to learn sometimes, oh my goodness. But anyway, I'm going home now so I can actually eat some breakfast or lunch, I don't know. And then get my work done. I have a friend coming over at four o'clock. Okay, well, I am currently the way less stressed out version of myself that you guys saw earlier today oh my gosh but it is currently i don't even know what the time is it's 4 30 and i have managed to get all of the the weekly vlog edited and i've eaten some food i've written my list i've gotten changed i've had a shower and now i just have some errands to run like I was supposed to have a friend come over this afternoon and I had to cancel it because I was just like, I physically cannot, I've lost so much time, I just can't. <laughs> so I've had to postpone that, which sucks, but I have to like get myself ready for the week. So I'm going to go to my PO box. I have some parcels there that I really need to pick up and then I need to go to Woolies and I need to buy just a few little groceries just to kind of get me through the week so the YouTube video is uploading it currently has 34 minutes until it's like finished processing and stuff on YouTube so I'm just gonna go get everything done I need to get done and then by the time I come back it'll be ready so I'll just like pretty much put it straight up <laughs>
Hi. How's you going? Yeah, good. I got it. Oh man, it's been such a hectic day today. Just connecting to my phone, my car. All good. I'm just putting my hair up and then I'll put my headphones back on so they sound far away and that's why. Yeah, all good. Yeah, I went to the gym this morning and then I went to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Came out oh, from... you have to the iron in Yes, this week. Oh. I had to, um, I had blood tests and stuff last week. Oh, uh -huh. on Friday. And then she came back and she said that, um, I'll have to get one. Because it's, it's better. Like, it's at 16. It's not as low as what it was last time. But, That's good. Yeah, but it's still not, like, What's at 30. Like? Wasn't it at, like, 5 or something last time? Yeah, a 5 to 7, I think. Mm, it's so bad. So yeah, it's good improvement, but you'll be able to get another one and feel better. Hopefully. Like, I don't really remember feeling amazingly better the first time, but I don't know, it's I'll just see. probably subtle, yeah. but affects, like, when you don't even realise. Yeah. And my car was gone. What? I was like, what, has my car been stolen? Like, what the heck has happened? And I was freaking out. And I called, I always park there when I go to the doctors and it's fine because oh. it's after 9am but my appointment was at 8.30. Oh! Yeah, so they literally picked up my car, towed it away within half an hour, which is so insane. crazy. Yeah. So it is currently quarter to nine. I literally have been on the phone to my girlfriend for like three hours, I think. <laughs> which is so good it's so nice to like catch up um she lives in the gold coast so it's nice to catch up but i literally just came home i put all my groceries away and i meal prepped the whole time i was on the phone with her i went to my po box but the mail it's just i just got like a mail slip and the post office was closed by the time so i'm gonna have to go there tomorrow to pick up my parcels exciting i'll go and do that probably tomorrow i think if i get a chance now i'm just gonna have a shower and get into something warm because it is quite cold and i really need to do some planning i'm trying to do planning every monday for the week last week i just planned for the next day every single night and it honestly was such a game changer for me like just in terms of like TikTok creation and I was literally able to get minimum of two, sometimes three TikToks up every day, which is definitely the goals that I have. Doing the planning the night before just makes it really clear for me of what I'm doing and I'm not getting up being like, what should I make today? Like I'm already prepared. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. And then there is also a few other things that I wanted to plan for today, which I didn't get time to do. So I might do that tomorrow night, I'm thinking, because I'm not really in the headspace to do it tonight. I feel like it has been a day where I kind of, there's not many days like this, but today was one and I just want this day to be over. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to bed so I can start tomorrow on a fresh foot. I'm gonna plan tomorrow and then tomorrow will be so much better so let's do that together oh also i didn't tell you guys what i did to my finger yesterday sns is like different to acrylic i don't usually do sns but i really like the the ombre look which is that look so that's like where it gradually it's from like one color to another and it's like really ombre i don't really know if it's showing up on camera but that is sns and you can't do that with acrylic but SNS is so much more breakable. I was having some fun last night with my dad and I punched him and I split my nail, like literally from my nail bed really low. So I've like wrapped it up and there was blood coming out of it. I've never done anything like that to my nails before and it hurt so much. And I can't even go and get it fixed because this stuff to like melt it away and it will be very, very painful. So and it's gonna sting like a biatch. <laughs> so I'm trying to give it a few days just to like heal itself and then go there and endure the pain. But I don't like to be precious and like breaking nails. I, it's, I don't have time for that, absolutely not. So I'm gonna go back to acrylic because I know that doesn't happen to me. <laughs>
what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Tryna stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away post on Tuesday night. I have been really not sure if I wanted to pick up the camera for the rest of the week um, this week. I'm trying my best to get back into my normal routine. I don't want to come on here and cry <laughs> because I feel like I've been crying for the past two days. My eyes are very puffy and very red. I made myself get up and go to the gym yesterday morning because I think when, when things happen I fall into my routine really as much as I can. I try and stick to it as much as I can just to get some kind of normal life again. It's really hard to go to the gym, I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday was really, really hard, but I knew that it would make me feel a little bit better. And today's no different. Time will make it a lot easier. I, I really don't really wanna like verbalize it and talk about it because I probably will cry. Yeah, I'm, I'm being really intentional with filming I don't know if I'm going to put this up this week. I'm, I don't want to put any pressure on myself if it's late, if it's on time, if it even goes up. I really don't know at this point. I think that everybody deals with certain things and grief really differently. And I don't think that there's a right or a wrong way to deal with something. Don't send me messages about what I should and shouldn't be doing because that might work for you, but it might not work for me. I just want to clarify that. I have to keep myself busy. I have to keep myself distracted. I have to keep going to work as hard as it is. Time heals and life doesn't stop. The world keeps moving and I need to keep moving. If I just sit with myself and think about this, then obviously it's gonna be really, really hard. It's gonna be harder. So I'm dealing with it the best way that I can. Yeah, I, I did wanna say that I, I feel so blessed to have 
this platform to have you guys and the dms in my instagram inbox has been incredible honestly i haven't even looked at any of them um i've just seen them all come through replying to stories and just maybe reading the first couple of words i haven't been able to bring myself to open them just yet even just commenting back on that post was really hard <laughs> Um, it doesn't really feel like reality. <clears throat> and I said I didn't want to come in here and cry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you. So I'm going to go to the gym and get into my day. So, yeah, let's go. I need to pick up and the day I went in they were closed which is fabulous so I'm gonna go grab that and then there is also a new gym that I really want to have a look at and it's in the same place that my PO box is which is kind of really convenient so I'm gonna go and check that out and have a look and see what that's like it's always nerve-wracking going into a new gym but I don't know change is good right <laughs> I just got home from work and I received a parcel this morning from one of you guys and I thought that it would be really cool to open it on camera so this is it here it is massive <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on the floor and open it I don't really know what to say I want to inspire as many people as I can and reading a letter like this really really cements to me that I'm able to inspire people without even realizing it to be honest I just be me and put my life online and if you guys are able to take something away from that and have a different perspective on your life and I'm able to help inspire you and support you and uplift you just by doing that for me and sharing that with you that really does touch my heart so thank you so yeah, I'm excited to see what's in here. <laughs> just ran out of space but this is the next one. <laughs> oh these are so beautiful it is candles and a diffuser oh wow this is too much oh beautiful 
my house is going to be smelling amazing. Oh, this is just so nice. Oh, that smells so nice. I can like smell it <laughs> right now. And then this one, candle. I literally was going to go and buy some candles for my house. And now I have all these beautiful, amazing candles. Oh, cute. Oh, they're all so nice. I literally went to the grocery store and I bought a lighter because I have one candle over there near my um, my TV and stuff and I want to be able to light it. Now I have all these candles that I can light. It's going to like set such a nice mood in my house. So oh, I'm so, I feel so thankful. Thank you so much for sending me these gifts. Definitely a really nice kind of pick me up right now from the week that I've had and yeah, I just appreciate all the love so, so much. So thank you so much for my little P.O. box delivery. <laughs> I'm going to clean all this up. I've got a little bit of a mess happening here now. And I'm going to have a shower and just start to wind down. I have just come down to the beach this morning because I felt like I really just wanted to be in a little bit of nature hear the waves roll in and yeah I'm glad that I came down it's not very sunny at all it's very overcast and it is sprinkling a little bit <laughs> which kind of sucks it is also eight degrees so it's quite cold but I don't really care to be honest I'm in my puffer jacket I was going to come here after the gym but I just thought starting the day here first would be really nice. I have the day off today being a Friday which I don't usually do but I decided to take it and I just want to do a little bit of work today. I've also I'm going into the city tonight because I have tickets for a show which should be fun so I'll bring you guys along with me there but I think I've been here for probably like 15 minutes about 15 minutes. I had to pay for parking because I'm not gonna make that mistake anymore. <laughs> not get a parking ticket or park illegally or whatever. So I have like another 20 minutes and I'm kind of like, mm, I could just stay here. But yeah, there's literally like no one down here. So it's kind of nice. My hands feel like they're gonna fall off though. <laughs> I should probably put them in my pockets. It's just nice hearing the waves. I did also just wanna say like, when I was talking a little bit briefly about it yesterday, um, I definitely don't ever share my personal life online and I keep it very private for a reason like my relationships and stuff like that that's all very private not something that I want to share on here until it's like something that's quite permanent but I just felt like I wanted to share this because you guys also knew her and she was a part of my videos all of the time um, so I didn't really hesitate in sharing the grieving side of things. I do that on my own I never put that online. So it's very strange for me to be like talking about it. But to be honest This is really helping me. I didn't think that I'd want to film or anything like that um, For the rest of the week, but this is what I do. This is what I love to do. This feels normal to me So this is what I'm gonna do, but it's raining a little bit more now and I'm actually sitting here getting wet so I think I'm gonna walk up <laughs> yeah I think it's time that we unpack this because she's massive and I don't really want it sitting in my hallway any longer so let's unpack her make sure she's not broken I'm just getting sand everywhere amazing it's the worst thing about like 
going to the beach is the sand that you're going home. It's like literally perfect and I love it. Oh my gosh. I was either going to put it here or put it like there where that mirror is because that one's going in my room now. But I kind of really like it there as well. I don't know. I'll just like play around with it. But man, it's made a mess. Look how big that box is and that box to take it downstairs. But yeah, cute. I love it. Alrighty, I feel like I have so many mirrors in my house now, but I'm so not mad about it. I've just put on my bag. I'm taking that downstairs to the trash and I am going now to the doctors and I will not be parking where I parked last time. I'll be parking around the corner, even though it's not a clear way zone today at this time, right now being nearly 12 o'clock, but doesn't matter. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to run that downstairs. Go to the doctors because I'm getting my iron infusion today. So I think I'm going to be there for like, they said like an hour and a bit. But first I need to go get the iron itself. So I have to fill a script out and I'm like literally running out of time. So I really need to not be doing this and I need to go. So I will see you there. I came downstairs to get in my car to go in my slippers. Now I have to go back up and get actual shoes. This is where I'm at right now. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, the mirror is in and I'm obsessed. It looks so cute. I've just gotten changed. I put my makeup on because we're going in the city to see. Whoa, I nearly just dropped my phone. What a catch. <laughs> he put that in my pocket. Um, we're going into the city to see Carl Barron, which I'm really excited about. I feel like it's going to be so funny. So, yeah, I've just put on. This top, um, jeans, I really wasn't, like I want to wear boots, but I really cannot be bothered. So I've just got on some Vans and then I've got this coat on as well because it is getting very cold in Melbourne. I was going to do like the lashes and the wing, but I just honestly don't have it in me. So this is the makeup look that we did and it looks cute, but I'm going to go because... My dad's gonna kill me. He's already called me like 10 minutes ago and said you need to be leaving like right now. So I'm gonna be late. So <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, sorry Carl, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello guys, it is Saturday morning and I've just gotten up, vacuumed all my floors, 
gave, given the house a little bit of clean, put my makeup on and I've just been filming a few little TikToks. And mum came over and dropped off Alex this morning. Come here. Good boy. Because he has been struggling a little bit just being on his own. She needed to go and get her nails done today and my dad is at work and she knew that I'm at home this morning. So she's come and dropped him off so he's not by himself. Last night when we went to see the comedy show and have dinner and stuff, he was crying so much when we got home. So, which just sucks because he's never been on his own before. He's always had her, so it's really... It sucks. It's really sad to like see him go through this. Hey. Mm. He's hanging out with me this morning, but I am... I'm just about to start editing the vlog. I haven't done any of it this week, so I really don't know if I'm going to be able to get it up by Monday. Um, I'm kind of just going to see how I go, not put any pressure or anything like that on it. But yeah, I wanted to wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the love that you have shown me this week. I really, I really needed it and I'm feeling really grateful for you. Uh, I'm not usually a very emotional person, but um, it takes me a lot to kind of open up and it's been really weird doing that this week on here because I, like I said, I don't do that. Obviously you guys only see about 30 minutes of my whole week. So I choose what I put on here and <laughs> being very sucky, aren't you? Yeah, I choose what I put on here and I guess this is just something that I wanted to share with you guys because I felt like you have also been a part of it and you know, you've been watching me for a while so I felt like I just wanted to share this little part with you. So um, I'm feeling okay today like I'm starting to come to terms with it a little bit more do the things that I love to do fill myself up spend time with my family spend time with friends and just time give myself some time thank you guys so much for watching um, this weekly vlog please subscribe if you haven't already it just really helps our little community here like this video if you enjoyed it and I'm excited to see you guys next week bye guys